Hi, it's me again with Corolla Roll Tips and Tricks. This video is going to be about putting a hairline cut line around an object, either being a bitmap or a vector type file. Uh, we're going to go over the vector first. This is all grouped together so our weld tools do not show up, but you can still go to object and shaping and boundary and it put a boundary around that and then you could take it, make it a hairline and you could Let's go ahead and finish it. We're going to go to effects and contour. Let's contour the outside just like 0 0.05 and see it just put a little bit of a contour on it. We're going to go up to effects or excuse me, object break contour part. Then you can grab the inside contour, make the outside one red and we can nudge it back and you have a slightly larger contour around that. Now with that said, the reason the well tools wouldn't come up on this is because it's grouped together. So if we ungroup it, well, or break, well, you don't really want to do that. Uh, you could always make a copy of it and nudge it over and break the curve apart. And now your well tool comes up and you could put a boundary around it and then you've got a boundary and you can make it red and you can do that. Now that's on a vector. This is a bitmap of this turtle or turtle bear. I normally make them a little bit smaller, but I'm not because it's pretty good. I'm going to go to trace bitmap outline trace clip art. And you can see that the clip, the trace one is just a bunch of modeled colors where the the bear has a lot more color, but we want to outline around this bear. So, and this is what somebody's confused on and they left me a message on one of my videos. I do it two different ways and I apologize. I make a rectangle around the box. I take the smart fill tool and I fill it in. And then I left click, right click, but that other line is still there. So I'm going to go to object and break the curve apart. And then I can get rid of that other line and then turn this red and move it back to our original bear. And we've got a cut line around the bear. Now, the other way to do it is what I do probably most of the time is take the smart fill tool, nudge it, and then nudge this or just fill that in with the smart fill tool, nudge it up, left click, right click. And then when you nudge that back over, it's a hairline. Now, same thing here. Go up to object, or excuse me, effects and contour. Let's contour a little bit bigger this time so you can see it, point 0.1. See it contoured it quite a bit bigger. We've got some bad, well, it's not that bad. Uh, you could, I did it and let's back up. And you could do it with rounded corners. And it'll kind of round off that cut line. Go up to object, break the contour apart. It's always easier to grab the center one and delete it. Turn this one red and then move it around your graphic. And that'll be a cut line for like a sticker or, or a, I don't know what else it would be for. But anyway, I hope that kind of simplified that a little bit. And thank you for watching.